Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a beautiful song from Soul of Songs today. We're going to learn how to do Runaway Train. So this is just a great song. Uh, Dave Perna's voice is just amazing. Um, there are two obvious guitar parts here. Kind of one with Dave's playing and then a lot of lead guitar work kind of fills going on over that. Not going to really be doing the lead guitar stuff except for the very beginning. I'm going to try to put both parts together what Dave's kind of holding a C chord there and then uh, we got a little lead guitar thing going on I'm trying to put them together just for the intro but then from there on out I'm just really going to try to do uh, the chords that Dave's playing really kind of the harmonic foundation of the whole thing all right before I get into it though please subscribe to the channel if you have not already and ring that notification bell so you know look run out of there when I release a new video and all that good stuff um, and if you want to really support what I do here on YouTube with all these uh, weekly song lessons, check out my Guitar Academy. That's the best way. It's my online guitar school. Becoming a member there is the best way to support me online. Um, you'll see a link to it in the description below. That link will give you a free seven-day trial, too, so you can check out my guitar courses and see if they work for you. I have courses there for complete beginners to more advanced courses in technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone. Um, you also get personalized support from me. Um, and you, you get access to the weekly live chats with me. Uh, we do a live video chat with just Academy members. So it's a, uh, it's a smaller gathering than like a live YouTube thing. And, and you can really get your questions answered there. And we do that every week. All right. So I hope to see you there. So let's jump into this track. So I'm in standard tuning here. And like I said before, there is a le little leak of part So... So it's kind of this part that's going on in a row. With a kind of a C chord being strummed underneath it. So trying to put those together, it's a little bit difficult. So you can just start it with here, this uh, third fret there on the A, then the uh, fifth fret there on the D, open G string, and fifth fret there on the B. Kind of do a quick strum there. And then you're going to pick from the B to the D string like three times. And then hit that D again and slide it down to the third fret there. And you're just playing the third fret there on the B now to the third fret on the D a few times. Now I like to kind of add this C again to it. Um, at the third fret on the A. So when I'm doing this, and so when I'm coming down to hit the D string that first time at least, hit the hit the A string with it so we can get that C sounding again. And then it goes down to the second fret on the D and then the first fret there on the uh, B string. And of course you can just, just a regular C there and then there's a quick little change which is just moving over to the third fret there on the D so you're lifting up quickly the the root note and playing the third fret there on the D and the third fret there on the B you can still have the open G in between them and then back down to the C so we have this And then he just kind of picks across the high, the high strings. So all together for the intro. All right, and now we just get to the standard chord work here. So the, the verses uh, just use these chords. So 
so it's just basically a C major chord. And then it goes to a G with a B in, in, in first inversion. So it's just basically it's a G chord, but just with B in the bass. Um, so we just have that second fret there on the A string, open D, open G, and then the third fret there on the B. So you really just want to strum those four middle strings. this. Call you up in the middle of the night Like a firefly without a light From there we just go to a regular A minor. Now if you don't know your just basic open major and minor chords, um, I have really detailed lessons on that. It's, it's a better way to learn them instead of learning them in a song, which you just kind of already know those chords. Unless, I mean, there's some kind of awkward, you know, not as common chord I'll show you, but, but the really common stuff. Uh, the best way to do it, just go to guitarlist at 365.com, click on free lessons, and click on beginner lessons. And you'll see detailed videos where I just kind of work you through with chord charts and everything, each, all the essential open position chords that you kind of learn at the beginning. And, and so that's pretty much what they're using in this song. So um, I'll, I'll let you know if there's anything that's outside of that realm, and, and that I'll show you here in this video. Anyway. So we have that C, to the G with the B in the bass, to A minor, to a G major chord, standard G major. So it's that it's the the kind of the four finger G major, not the one, not the one with the open B string, the one where you're holding the third fret there on the B. So all together, you just repeat that twice, those four chords. Call you up in the middle of the night Like a firefly without a light You were there like a blowtorch burning I was a key that could use a little turn So tired that I couldn't even sleep So many secrets I could Then we get to the pre-chorus, looks like that looks like this. It seems no one can help me now. I'm in too deep. There's no way out. This time I have really let myself astray. So that starts with an F major bar chord. He plays it with his thumb on the low E string. You can do a regular same notes, just like don't doing thumb, thumb bars. Um, so that's just a bar at the the first fret there, uh, across the, uh, all six strings. Second fret on the G in front of it. Third fret on the D. Third fret on the A. Like I said, he kind of does it like this. Kind of that thumb over, grabbing the F, and then just holding that. So, whichever way you like doing it. So, Seems no one can help me out. that goes to a G. Help me now. Then to a C major. And then an A minor. So, with the vocals there, it looks like this. It seems no one can help me. go back to that F, you can do it like that, it doesn't matter. From that F, it then goes to an E minor, center E minor chord, and then we're going to end the pre-chorus with a G. Alright, so that F, E minor, G. So all together for the pre-chorus. Seems no one can help me now, I'm into gets us to the chorus, which looks like this. So 
it's just kind of, uh, you just play the chorus one time, the first time. So that's just C major to an E minor chord. So. Go to what the A minor. Seems like I should be getting somewhere. And then end it with a G. Somehow I'm never here nor there. Boom, 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 boom. Then it goes back to the same verse chords for the second verse. Of So then we have the guitar solo, which obviously is just kind of a, just kind of playing a lot of, kind of picking across higher chord voicing and stuff. Um, but what's going on underneath all that stuff is just that he continues the chorus progression one time. Then we go to the so that's the first half of the guitar solo. And then it goes to the pre-chorus chord progression. You play that one time for the second half of the guitar solo. And then the bridge of the song is pretty much just the... Uh, just uh, the just like the um, the verse chorus. Bought a ticket for a runaway train, like a madman laughing at the rain. You allowed it touched and insane. It's just easier than dealing with the pain. Runaway train never. Goes. So then goes to the chorus. So that's just the one time through the verse chords, but he just kind of strums it once. On a liquid for a runaway train Like a madman laughing at the rain When he gets to the A minor, he just kind of starts picking across it. Little out of touch, little insane So you, nothing, you don't have to really kind of stick with any kind of pattern. A little insane, then there's a G. Just an easy yelling, dealing with the pain start strumming there and then it just sets up for the really the whole chorus for the rest of the song there that he just continues with so that's the extended course at the very end 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is a beautiful song. It's great for just kind of this one guitar, singer, songwriter type thing. It just works really well. So if you've got a gig doing that, this would be a great one for you to do. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.